Uh, the Twitch guidelines change. Jesus Christ. What now? Our community guidelines are designed to help make Twitch a welcoming place. Content on Twitch is always evolving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we want to make sure our rules work as intended and keep up with emerging behaviors. When needed, we make updates to the rules to capture those shifts in behavior. Starting on Friday, content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be allowed. We've included additional details and definitions. Oh, I've got to see this. This is great. No more green screen booty. They keep coming up. This is like the fight of like Blizzard versus Weak Auras. Because they just, no matter what they do, they find some way around it. Constantly, just desperately hoping to get some fucking tits and ass on the stream somehow. There must be a way. There must be a way to get tits and ass into the stream. Uh, okay. Continue. Content labeling. You are expected to... So where's the details of what exactly? Oh, there we go. We remove users who online presence is dedicated to one, persistently sharing, two, widely disproven and broadly shared, three, harmful misinformation topics. Uh... I don't know, because the YouTube one recently was... Um... Interesting, where they said they were going to demonetize you if you didn't, if you, but you were fine if you swore like every 30 seconds or something. It was weird. Uh, extreme violence and gore, adult nudity. So I guess this attire, what's this? I've never read this, by the way. I kind of just guess that as we don't do anything obscene, we're probably fine. <laughs> like for me, I think we're probably fine. Uh, okay. Okay. Detail examples below. Okay. We do not permit streamers to be fully or partially nude, including exposing genitals or buttocks. Nor do we permit streamers to imply or suggest that they are fully or partially nude, including, but not limited to, covering the breasts or genitals with objects or sensor bars. We do not permit the visible outline of genitals. Oh, man. I can't put some snake outline on there. Even when covered, broadcasting nude or partially nude minors is always prohibited. Gross. Regardless of context. For those who present as women, we ask that you cover your nipples and do not expose underbust. <laughs> the guy who had to write this or whatever was just like, can you just not, can you please just not make me have to fucking do this for Christ's sake? Can you please just not? Ugh. Where were we? Uh, un where we're covering breasts and genitals, sure. Uh, it said something about cleavage was okay. Roger Brett is worried that you cover your nipples. Do not expose underbreast. Cleavage is unrestricted as long as these coverage requirements are met and it's clear that the streamer is wearing clothes. For all streamers, you must cover the area extending from your hips to the bottom of your pelvis and buttocks. I love the word buttocks. For those areas of the body where coverage is required, the coverage must be fully opaque, sheer, or partially see-through clothes does not constitute coverage. <laughs> oh, the lawyers. Contextual exceptions. Okay. IRL streaming. Broadcasters, their co-hosts, and invited guests engaging in general IRL streaming outside the home must follow standard body recovery expectations. Those passing through the background of your stream are not held to the same dress code requirement. But broadcasting nudity is not permitted regardless of content. If accidental nudity appears on your stream, we expect you to take immediate action, remove the content, and take precautionary steps so it will not happen again. You should not focus your stream on anyone violating our clothing or sexual content standards. You will be held accountable for doing so. Okay. Body art. Yeah, body art's a tricky one. I think you have to keep the nipples covered, right? For streams dedicated to body art, full chest coverage is not required. But those who present as women must completely cover their nipples and areola <laughs> with a layer of non-transparent clothing or paint and latex combination. Artist-grade pasties, tape, uh, latex, or similar. This coverage must be applied before streaming begins, not on stream. Buttocks and genitals must also be fully covered by opaque attire. In addition, we ask that streamers add a sexual themes content classification label when painting on their chests or buttocks. 
The exception to the general coverage requirement only applies while the streamer is actively engaged in body painting through the streamer may take short breaks between active painting sessions or when painting is complete to model the results. Hmm. Mm. Streamers are given some leeway for making transitions between contexts with different limits of acceptable attire. Example, beach to general outdoor IRL streaming. In these situations, streamers are expected to only spend as much time wearing insufficient attire as needed to add clothing or change off screen into clothing with appropriate coverage for the new context. <sighs> Additional exceptions. The standard ch <laughs> There's so many rules for trying to not get pawn. <laughs> There is so... The entire FAQ. Oh, my God. What clothing is appropriate? Given the variety of content activities created to gauge it, an explicit dress code would be unreasonable. People, people keep finding a way around it. I don't think... Uh, to be fair, I don't think the meta is as um, big as it was, right? Uh, hot tubs. I don't think it's as bad as it used to. Nah, okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> There's nobody really watching it, though. Right? Outside of the top few. Uh, like, only 185 viewers. That feels kind of sad, actually. Like, this is, like, purely, like, a pawn chill. It looks like that. I'm not judging the streamer or anything, but it looks like one of them uh, sex hotlines that you see the adverts for. They're like, they're, yeah, that's not... Gr like, only 20 viewers... 16. That's not a great. I mean, really going out of the way here with this thumbnail, right? Hmm. It's not as popular as it was. Orangutan driving a golf cart. I didn't even see that. Where is it? I, I was clearly distracted by other things. Uh, where is it? There you go. Rambo the driving. Rambo ape. the ape driving a golf cart. What the hell? Please, uh, Why is that in hot tubs and. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm glad about it. <laughs> it's a rag attack driving a car. That's this a, is what we should this have is actually on Twitch. what this is. This is what belongs on here, right? None of that arse and tits. How is this actually happening right now? He's so chill as well. He needs like a cigar or something. That is my boy. Where's he going? Is this, this must be fake, right? There must be a driver in front and this is like a plastic steering wheel. I mean, I would assume so. Yeah. Uh, but I choose to believe. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, it's not live. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Yeah. Oh, I'm gutted now. It's not live. I thought this was live. I thought he just went about his day, just hardcore driving, getting work done, putting time in. I thought he was grinding it out. I do love the idea. It's a 24-7 video of this ape going round in a fucking car. I would feel so bad if I was grinding hard on Twitch, you know, like getting those viewers up, doing work, and I have less viewers than a 24-7 video of an ape driving a golf cart. What do you remember that AI fake St Seinfeld thing a little while ago? Yeah. yeah. You never know, man. Yeah. Like, that's got 68 viewers, right? And you don't have to scroll very far to see these girls doing their work, trying with just like a third as many viewers. Like, it fucking feels bad, man. Yeah. I'm literally putting... I'm barely hiding my JJ and buttocks and sh staring at the camera and I have a third the viewers of an ape video going round in <laughs> circles. Like, it's just... It's a fucking feel, man. Yeah. It's a fucking feel. It feels bad. Right, it just feels bad. I'm in a wheelchair and I can't walk or move. 12 years. What the fuck is going on on Switch? Le fish. I am friend, not food. Is this 24 7 fish in a bathtub? What is going on? Right. It's, it's outrageous. Just... Oh, she found a way around it already. I don't know. Oh, she's genius. This girl is a creative mastermind. Live now. Twitch just issued a TOS updates. What? Discussing now. Oh, that's really clever. Because cleavage is allowed, but she can't focus on it. Oh, that's that's genius. It's She's a creative mastermind, this girl. I, if... I've got to give credit, right? I mean, it's annoying. 
on Twitch. But... Of course it's not. I can't let my kids on Twitch. But I can't, I can't argue with the creativity. I can't argue it. I just wish she would use her powers for good instead of just tits. That's yeah, all. Yeah, that is true. Yes, I would, I would say that's probably how to summarize. It is. It's the arms race that I saw between developers and add-on developers. Like, there's just... They constantly fight each other, and who's the victory? And wasn't five gifted a creamy treat the last time we heard yeah, about this was. lady? Uh, has she not got five gifted subs so far? <laughs> well, I assume it's every five gifted. Oh, is there regular creamy treats? I'm, I'm sure there is. How much does good pay? Well, like we just said, there's not a lot of people watching the boober anymore. There just isn't. Five. Okay, for office rat. I am not giving you a creamy treat, Braggart. <laughs> Absolute animal. I am not giving you a creamy treat. I don't have any creamy treats. It's not happening. No, thanks.